What's up ladies and gentlemen, you welcome back to my channel, my name is Nifon Tui and on this channel I make so tutorials, I post new videos on Wednesdays and on Saturday. So please make sure to check back on those days in order to watch new content. If you like the video, please push like my videos if you like the, if you enjoy the videos, it really, 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 really helps me out. Um, thank you so much for all your support um, in the past and thank you for watching the video now. Um, if you're a beginner or if you're a person who wants to on your skill, I offer online courses. I'll be showing a demo on how to make a jumpsuit. If you are interested, please send a telegram message number that I can see on the screen. Thank you so much. Do have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the wrap crop top that you have seen already so um to be and i'll show you the measurements that you need as well so make sure you have that um so to begin i'll do what i usually do i'm going to keep half inch at the top of the paper so away from the top half inch down you're going to roll half an inch across your paper now after you have done this the next thing you want to do is mark all your vertical lines and your vertical lines are those measurements that come from your shoulder um, going down, for instance, the top length, which is what I will place first. So it's a crop top. The top length we are dealing with is 18 inches. Um, so I'm going to stop here, 18 inches. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place the under bust length. So the shoulder to the under bust uh, is 14. So I'm going to make a mark there. And then I'm going to make a mark at the bust point, okay? So the bust, you would, um, it's, uh, the bust sits 4 inches higher than the under bust. So if the under bust length is 14, 1, 2, 3, 4 is going to give us 10. 14 minus 4 is equals 10. You place that there. Then next, rule all your lines across. Now, the next thing, if you're going to come to this point here, the first one here, that's where you have the, from here to here is 10. That's the bust point. You're going to place from here, you're going to place your bust divided by 4. So the bust is 36, 36 divided by 4, 9. I'm going to place 9 here. To place whatever your bust is here. Now, the next thing I'm going to place is my under bust round. So the circumference around the under bust is 30 inches. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to place 30 here. Now, 30 divided by 4 is 7.5, which I've played here. I also took the circumference around where the, um, where the top is going to sit. Okay, that's at 18 inches. I, after I took the top length, I took the circumference around her, that's um, the point where the top stops, and I have 31. 31 divided by 4 is 7.75. Alright, now I'm going to come to the top over here, and I'm going to place my shoulder measurement. So the shoulder measurement is 14, 14 divided by, um, 14 divided by 2 is 7. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slope my armhole by one inch. Okay, and then I'm going to roll another line at the top of half inch above this line. I'll roll a, par a parallel line half inch above this line. That's going to serve as my um, as my uh, allowance at the shoulder. Now, the next thing I'm going to place is the neckline width. Now, the pattern, this pattern I'm drafting is going to be used for the back of the top. Now, for the neckline width for the um, back, I'm going to come out to 3 inches for the width. Okay? And then, in front here, I'm going to come down 1 inch for the depth. So, you see, from here to here, 1 inch. The width is 3 inches. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my armhole. The formula for finding your armhole so your body divided by 6 plus 1.5 the 6 divided by 6, 6 plus 1.5, 7.5 I'm going to come here, I'm going to come down I'm going to come down 7.5 from here so that from here to here, 7.5 from here not from, the, not from not from here, from here, okay? and then, I'm going to come down Then, next thing is to connect all your lines together. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my allowances before I cut. Now, there's going to be a dart in the back, okay? So, for the dart for the back, what I'm going to do is from here, I'm going to come into 4 inches, okay? I'm going to come into 4 inches from here. I'm going to really line from the bottom to the top. Okay, and then I'm going to measure from the shoulder to 7 inches 
because that is where the dots is going to start from from here and going to stop here and now the dots i'm going to hold is going to be a dot where i hold half inch on both sides so i'll consume one inch here so because i'm consuming one inch here normally i would have kept um i wanted to keep one and a half inches for my allowance but because of this um, that I have here, I would have to place 2.5 inches here. One inch that's for the dance plus the 1.5 I intended to keep the first time, 2.5. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to place 2.5. Okay, I'm going to place 2.5 here as well. I'm going to here, up here, I'm going to keep my 1.5 I intended to keep. Okay. Now, next thing I'm going to do. This, I'm going to keep one inch at the bottom here for my hemming. Um, the next thing we'll do is to mark our dart points. So what you're going to do is align your fabric like so. Come up to the point where you mark the X and make a mark there so that you would know where the dart starts from. Also, you will come to the end right underneath where you have your dart and over here you will make a notch so that when you're on your sewing machine you would know exactly where your dart is supposed to go. Alright, now I'm going to trace this on the other side all right so now we know where the dots are going to start from now the next thing is i'm going to put the fabric on a fold again and then i'll show you how we use this pattern to cut the front all right so now before we go ahead to cut the back we have to make some changes to this pattern now when you were cutting the neckline desk for the back remember we did one inch at the back so you are going to place the one inch on the neckline like so and then you're going to come down to 8 inches. Okay, so when you're at 8 inches, the next thing you want to do is just to draw a new neckline. Alright, so you see I put the fabric on the fold and I iron this, place this one on top. So the next thing you want to do is you want to cut out this pattern exactly. So I'm going to cut out here, here, up, and then when I get here, I'm going to stop. Now, you see this excess I kept in front of here? This excess is what we're going to use to do the wrap. -up. You can see I've cut, and when I go to this point, a bit after it, I stopped. Now what I want you to do is I want you to cut from here and taper down all the way to three inches. So by the time you hit the end there, you should be at three inches. So what you do is this, you get chopped. You're going to come to the end here, you're going to come up to three inches and you're going to make a mark with the chop so that you know where it stops, okay? And then you want to cut from here and flow, slowly flow, out to that three inches so after we you've gotten to the end next thing you want to do just simply make a curve here don't keep it straight just curve it out a bit okay so that is it the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make a notch under here at that point so that i know where the darts are supposed to sit I'm going to simply pick this up and make a notch here. All right, all right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold all my darts. So at the back, whatever I do on this side, repeat on the second darts. I'm going to simply make a fold like you just see me, like I've just done, and I'm going to start from nothing, open up to half an inch at the bottom, and that should consume half here, half here. That's one inch at the bottom. And so with that we have that both sides of the back. The next thing is to that the front. The front I'll actually show you um, just on one side and you do the other side yourself. 
okay all right so when it's time to dart the back what you want to do is you start from the bottom and you will dart up and you stop after eight inches at the back we're also going to consume half inch at the bottom and taper out to nothing okay so half inch here all right and we're going to by the time we get to eight inches to eight inches that's over here you should have tapered out completely so I'm All right, so after you have dotted both the front and the back, the next step is to join the front to the back at the shoulder. So make sure that you look for the side that is clean, like here, you see here, this is the front, this is where the dust is facing, so this is the clean side, so you match the clean side with the clean side, that's where the dust is clean, with this part that is clean. You match it like so, and then you're going to simply join the shoulders half an inch on both the left and the right. After doing this, the next step is we're going to use bias to finish. Now, at this point, at this point, this if you want to make this for sale, this is the this is the best time um, to hem to weave the shoulder. So if you have an overlocker, use that to finish this side of the shoulder, this side of the shoulder, and also the sides as well. So use your overlocker to finish the both sides um, to, um, of the rough edge, and then the next step is to bring our uh, bias. Okay, so see this. This is the shoulder. You're going to come to the front. This is the clean side of the front. You can see my darts over here. So you're going to come to the clean side of the front. Okay, come to the front part over here, and then you're going to need cotton bias. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to spread this flat, and you can see the crease here. You can see the bend over there. You're going to make your needle to land on that bend at every point. I'm going to stitch from here, from the front here, all the way around to the other side of the front. That's this part on the other side. Okay? Right. After you have done this, the next thing we have to return to the other side. So you can see where I stitched over here. We are going to turn here and cover the rough edge, okay? Just the way you usually install bias. If you not to install bias already, this should be a very, very easy process. I'm now going to stitch on top of here, okay? From here all the way down to the end. Okay, after using your bias to neatly finish the neck and the front, the next thing I want you to do is to join both sides together. So you can see the armhole over here. Okay, so on this side, I'm going to complete my stitch from the beginning all the way down. I'm going to sew one inch. On the other side, that's over here, I'm going to sew one inch still. But on this side, when I'm like five inches before the end, I'm going to stop and I'm going to back stitch. I'm going to keep a space of two inches, okay? Of 2.5 inches, sorry. You're going to keep a space of 2.5 inches from the last stitch to where you will continue. When you get here, back stitch and go all the way down. This space that we just kept is where we are going to pass the root through to the back. So you know this is a wrap. So we're going to need a hole for the other rope to pass through. So check this out. So this is this is how the front looks. Okay. If you check here, we've created a hole. So what happens is this: this side here is going to go over the body, while this side that's going to be underneath is going to pass through this hole. You see this? This side is going to pass through this hole and go to the back. I hope that this is coming through clear. And then here, because of that hole, both of them will now meet at the back for you to do whatever you want to do, like tie, tie them at the back or you can tie them on the side or wherever you want really. But because of that hole that we left on the side here, it allows us to do that. So the next step, we have to finish that hole properly. Remember I told you if you intend to make this for sale, remember to 
you, um, use your overlocker to finish all the ends at the time I told you to do so, so that um, all these rough edges here will not be so um, rough. So the next thing you would do, lay this part here flat, bend here down, and we are going to stitch it so that this flappiness does not disturb um, us when we are trying to put in our rope. And with that, next thing we're going to do is we have to hem the bottom part. So you see this rough edge here, we're going to hem it. So you see here, we're going to fold half inch over here. And we're going to stitch from here all the way down. Next thing is the sleeve. I've made a video on how to draft the sleeve before and I've done that several times on this channel so I'm going to go ahead and draft the sleeve and I'll show you how we put it on here. Alright? Alright, so the first step, after I've drafted my sleeve, um, the first thing we're going to do is put the elastic at the bottom of the sleeve. To be able to do that, what I want you to do is I want you to bend half inch. Okay? So first half inch, then you're going to fold one inch. Stitch on top of this from here all the way up to Alright, so the next step is to pass this elastic through here. Now the elastic was cut using the wrist measurements, then I added one inch to it. So the wrist measurement is seven. I added one inch to it to make it eight inches. Okay, so now the next step is to pass hit this through this space that you have created. You see this when you've passed it in and you're close and the elastic is right on the edge like this you don't let it go in you're going to secure this in place i'm going to secure both of them with half inch from here all the way up or whatever allowance you keep on your sleeve Simply sew from here all the way up. Now, this would be a great time to use your overlocker or your weaving machine to finish the rough edge that you just joined together. So, here I have my armhole. I'm going to simply take my sleeve, align it with the armhole, like so. So, you see, sleeve and armhole. I'm going to open it. Make sure you see this side here. This is the front side. Make sure that you align the clean side of your sleeve to touch to be to the the the, the both of the clean sides should come should be the ones touching. Okay. Now you're going to spread your seam flat here and then keep your sleeve down. Now whatever you have just done to this sleeve, make sure to repeat the same thing on the other side. And after you have repeated the same thing on the other side, you are basically done with the top. Nice easy project for you guys. Um, if you like the video, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you've watched this far. Thank you for watching this far into the video.